Beyonce, did you get me? I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, you did right because you know you got to let people about know about Walgreens and you know all the great gifts they have. Okay, but what is the white elephant? Oh, uh, white elephants. So, like, you know, if you're going to the company Christmas party, mm-hmm. like, you pick like the gift Eva, exchange. Everybody brings a gift, and so then you number the gifts, and then so like if Eva's gift's number one, and then I draw a raffle number, I pick the first gift. Now the problem is, is if you come pick a gift after me, and oh. you like my gift better than your gift, you can well take then it. you can take my gift. Now Yo. the problem with that is that. Brat can come behind you then and take your gift if she likes your gift better. So technically, the last person gets the best gift. You know, I was damn confused the whole time I was reading that Walgreens commercial because <laughs> I'm like, this ain't making no damn sense. Now, I ain't never heard nothing about no damn white elephant. Yo, <laughs> it's like Walgreens. Chris Kringo. It's okay. a game. It is, but Walgreens, like if you go to Walgreens and or even Walmart, like they have the best gifts for the white elephant contest because usually yes. you have like a $20 budget. Yep. And so. Ricky, we kind of grew up um, African-Americans. The white elephant was all at the white houses. <laughs> So, so. Not true. <laughs> Beyonce, y'all don't know what's played there. First of all, we played it on both sides of my family, so don't get it twisted. Oh, I played white. We did the white elephant. Well, y'all was in California, honey. That's rich in the we South, were, baby. We didn't have We were in that. South Central. I, I didn't either. I was in Chicago. I know that. I know. I, I ain't never that. heard of white elephant. I, me? I heard of it, but I mean, we didn't play it. I ain't heard before. of it until I started reading this long <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm trying to read it word for word. Okay. What am I missing? Gary, yeah. Yeah. Because you was picking that. those words, honey. I'm, I'm you like, was picking I'm them. I'm reading it. <laughs> like, good thing because right now your son ate tomorrow's holiday bake sale cookies and you forgot the white elephant is in an hour. I'm like, that ain't making no sense to me. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I just had to go on F because I'm sitting there sounding I know that's every right. morning. No. All right, go ahead, Gary. I'm sorry. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning to you. It's Thursday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in Celebrity News, y'all. Congratulations goes out to Cam Newton, y'all. They're saying Cam Newton's baby mama, Kia Proctor, y'all. She shared the first, y'all, pics of baby number Four. Now, they're saying the mother of Cam's four children, y'all, she's sharing the pics, honey, on social media. They're saying Cam Newton and Kia Proctor welcome their fourth child. Now, they're saying, honey, the um, the baby name is this Eva Cash, ooh, Cashmere St. Um, Cashmere St. Newton. Cashmere? Yeah. Cashmere St. Newton, honey, That's according cute. to Kia, that who posted the first pics of a child on Instagram. Now, they're saying, y'all, that this is the real interesting. They're saying Cam Newton has four kids, Cashmere, Kami, Kami, Comedius, Comedius Swain, who was born in July 2018. Um, his oldest son, Chosen Sebastian, three, and his daughter, Sovereign Dior, two. And you know, Kia has, um, you know, her um, five kids for her now because she has her oldest daughter with um, a previous relationship. So, congratulations goes out to them. Now they are wondering. Now people saying they don't know if Ka- um, Cab and um, Kia are still together. They said because her social media, her Instagram has been scrubbed clean, honey, of the North Carolina path to ballers. So there's mm. nothing on him on, on her social media. Oh, it's real <sighs> clean, huh? Clean, huh? But isn't that great though? You could have four and five kids together and still be together and not married. Yeah, if you can coexist, why not? Wait a minute, didn't you just say she cleaned her social media? I'm so confused. Of, of him? Yep, they say they, they, you can't find no pictures or nothing of him, of him. And they say as of yet, he has of yet to um, even, um, you know, mention the baby. But they say he thanked the fans, y'all, honey. You know, um... You know, impressed when he underwent surgery recently. So, oh, so he hasn't that. mentioned the child not at yet, all, so. but she has been talking about the child. Yeah, like oh, most women cute. do. Mm-hmm. But you got to take into consideration, people are very private about their children. Well, they ain't that damn private. We talking about them. They put well, them out there. But some people are like, I, my, I have three brothers, and one of my brothers, he doesn't post anything. You would not think he even had a family. He got two kids and a fiance. Not you just told his business. No, it's totally fine. <laughs> People know that, but you would have never seen them. Oh, like, okay. he never posts pictures of his kids. I don't post pictures of my nieces and nephews because my brother is private and he doesn't post pictures. So right. some people are just like that. Yeah, but he's a celebrity, honey. And this woman, she posted. She let us know, baby, this is my fourth child with this Negro, honey, and we ain't talking about it. We got to talk about these babies. So she wants the world to know. Mm. You know? So well, but congratulations, I guess, you know. Men are different. Yeah, but like I still said, though, those babies grow up to be adults one day. Mm-hmm. And what's going to happen? They're going to see daddy ain't said nothing about us. And and uh, if he said something about us, it might not have been the best thing, honey. And then they, uh, you're going to uh, deal with the consequences because... 
kids grow up. But Gary, everybody's not flexing for the gram. You know what I'm saying? That's not how everybody gets down. Some of the young people these days and some of us have learned Instagram and we put stuff on there. But some people are old fashioned and that's not for Instagram. OK, but so that means, but it answers the, um, are you saying, honey, Kia flexing for the gram? Because if Cam, she is. Oh, you think so? Well, I mean, she's a mom and you want to put up your kids. That's something that you enjoy doing. But, but if the daddy don't want to partake in it and he ain't saying that, that's not a good look. He's got more followers than her. She might only have a thousand followers. He might have ten million followers. He's got crazy people, and her people might just be family and friends. Boom. Yeah, but don't matter. But honey, if she talking about her kids with him, and we know it's him who the dad had, he need to at least say something honey, about you know. No, he hey. doesn't. He doesn't owe anybody anything. Keep doing your thing, Cam, and uh, score on the field. Well, Rick, you right. talk. You talk about your children. Well, I mean, everybody's different, Gary. You know what? What works for me don't might not work for him. Uh-huh. Okay. And uh, Cam, Cam is a good kid. He oh, like my yeah. big, I call him big nephew. Yeah. And uh, I absolutely love him. Too bad he went to Auburn, but, you know, we <laughs> we have a great relationship. So, Well, congratulations. I am we proud of him. You. And I, I don't know, uh, Rod, you think you're going to end up uh, going somewhere else? Yeah, he's going to end up going somewhere else. But he said in order for him to leave Carolina Panthers, they're going to have to get rid of him. So what? Oh. So that means he ain't leaving. So congratulations, Cam, honey. And I am telling you, <laughs> he ain't going. Honey. I'm Damn. not going. All right, moving on. Another celebrity news. Have y'all, did y'all see the movie? Me, did y'all see the movie? Oh, come out, Brad. Did y'all see the movie Queen and Slim? No, no I haven't seen Queen and Slim. Uh-uh. No, not yet. Well, Queen and Slim, actually, baby, Miss Jodie Turner Smith, she is speaking. I heard because it's a real good movie. I was told y'all, but she said y'all that she really hated it. That she was dark skinned. She said she hated it when she was growing up. That she was dark skinned because girl. And people used to call her ugly, honey. She said, now you know that the glow up is here. You know, you can see how great she looks. Now in these pictures and stuff or whatever. But she said, honey, that, you know, proof that the glow up has been really real. She said, it's been so long since I've seen pictures, honey. Because, you know, the internet is so undefeated. She said, I found them a blast from the past. And she saw the pictures of her when she was a young girl. And, honey, you know how it changed her hair. And now she changed her complete life. And you hear that all the time about, you know, dark-skinned girls, um, you know, when, when you're growing up dark, how they didn't really like their skin color and stuff like that. So, Brad, even did y'all not like it when people were calling y'all dark skin growing up? Uh, I don't know if we had that problem, Gary. But I know in my house, my parents were very sincere about loving your blackness. So, there were no colorism issues in the Pickford household. I swear we was black and proud. My mama yeah. had that dog on velvet, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X up on the wall. Yes. Yes. And then when she turned, had that blue light on because they used to smoke weed. Ooh. And then when she turned that damn light off and Dr. King eyes be staring at you in that dark. <laughs> Man, but, but we just had we we had all of the stuff. She had all. Uh, I thought John F. Kennedy. Remember how old people back in the day had John F. Kennedy and Robert Kennedy yes. pictures? I thought they. I thought we knew. I thought, but for years I thought Dr. King was our uncle or something. Yeah, because he was on everybody' wall and every single family member. Dr. King picture was on the wall, and you were just so proud to be black. And uh, I thought he was some kin. I said, when we gonna meet this uncle right here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Kahlua today is one of my favorite Christmas Kahlua's. My Kahlua today is mixed nuts. On the high end, you say mixed nuts, and on the low wow. you say beautiful browns and tans and beiges and burgers and reds. And that's a beautiful Kahlua, honey. Just in time for Christmas. You gonna and you would do that mixed nuts, okay? And nuts in all different colors, nuts in all different colors, big and small, Gary, that you can put in your mane. <laughs> <laughs> you smile morning show. 